Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest project for Hey Little Magpie. For this project I'm making a mini book using the Maggie Holmes round trip uh, that you can see in front of you. I've got the 6x8 pad, a few 12x12 papers, but the main thing that I was after was this postcard book. When I saw it, I realised for me it would be the ideal body for a mini book. And now that we're getting out and about and starting to travel a little bit more, I thought that's perfect. That's just what I wanted to make. So I cut up these tickets and um, tag pages and I've kept them with the ephemera. And I'm now going to go through the postcards. So there's 16 postcards in the pack, two of each design. So I've split them up into the designs and there were some two with yellow taxis on, which I wasn't really keen on. Um, it was a bit more of an American vibe and that's not the trip I wanted to document. So I stuck it together with another postcard, uh, leaving an opening at the top so that I could pop some tags in. So I'm just going through all of the postcards and the idea is I'd like to join them together or create um, interest on each of them and then I will uh, be joining them together as a book. So I just stuck two together open at the side this time and I've just stuck some tickets in there just so I know what I've done. The one that I'm working on at the moment I'm using a piece of the 6x8 paper to do it like a flip up. I was a bit gutted when I realised that the 6x8 paper was white on the back uh, but then I got over myself and I'm going to cover that with a photograph so I've cut a little um, area out of it just so that it doesn't interfere with the book rings and I'm just trimming it there with my trimmer. So I'm just trying there. It nearly takes a six by four photograph. So um, I'm happy with that. So now using a couple of pieces of ephemera, I'm, collect I'm creating like a flip flap that um, I'm just scoring the edges of these pieces so that there's like a lift up element. I think the key to mini books is that you want people to handle them. You want them to look through them and you want them to be interesting. And that is what's at the back of my mind the whole time. Now these white bits of paper you just saw me use, they are my mock photos. So they've got sizes on them just to give me an idea what sort of photos would look good in the book. And I'll go through those a little bit more in part two. But a couple of the cards, I'm actually just going to put a photo strip and then some embellishment rather than more than that. This card, I'm just making a ticket pocket and I've popped a couple of tickets in uh, and tags in there just to remind me that that's what I've done. I'm going to do another one here that's similar using uh, paper from the 6x8 pad. Now I'm not a massive mini book uh, maker so you might think this is quite simple. I think it's ideal to put together before a trip so that when you get back and you're, it's still fresh in your mind you can print off your photos or get them printed and then be able to literally just pop them in the book and have it finished uh, and ready to look through. So uh, it's definitely worth it because this range all goes together and you know it does because it's uh, all the colours have been thought through by the manufacturer. Uh, I'm not too worried about the prints or whether it's flowers or tickets. Because something I've learnt with Project Life is, it, you obviously you want things to coordinate. But actually, once the photos and the uh, ephemera and the journaling and the chipboard and the stickers and everything else goes on on top, it all just blends together nicely. So it's, I'm not too worried about the papers in the background. So using another paper from the 6x8 pad, I'm doing another flip up or flip down and I've already trimmed the edge. In fact, this is going to flip up so that actually I can uh, hide some more photographs. I don't know if you're like me, but I end up taking hundreds of photographs from any trip that I go on and there'll be plenty to actually fill this mini book. So I'm just thinking again now I'm going to score a couple of these cards and they will be able to make like a, another flip flap on top of the tickets there just to uh, add a little bit more interest. Because this range has got this postcard book in, in it, actually I feel like half the work is already done uh, and I think it's a really good way, particularly if this, you've never made a mini book before, to make a start. Um, I may not keep the backs of all these postcards looking uh, like postcards in the final finish but at the moment they do, it's an ideal space to put journaling. So uh, I've got this 12x12 12 12 matte paper and ideally I wanted one of the maps to be on the cover but they're actually a little bit too long and I, I didn't really want to cut it down. So it, it had me thinking about how I wanted to use it. So I took two half pieces 
uh, from the paper and I'm going to attach them either end of this postcard. So at the same time as um, attaching them I'm actually going to make a pocket as well. So I'm going to, I'm just putting this one in so I can score it and that will be stuck between the two postcards on the right edge and the left hand one will be stuck down where the holes will be punched in it when it becomes um, a mini book. So this is red tape. I don't know whether you've used red line tape before. It's a little bit unforgiving, but on the other hand, it is ideal for sticking things down that you don't want to come back up again. Uh, the only thing is it does take a little bit of picking off. Sometimes you do need a nail or at the end of a, a blade to actually remove it. And it's it's got a staticky reaction and the bits of tape end up sticking to me. And I end up traveling them around the house if I'm not, look, if I'm not uh, aware. So I've tucked the one in on the right there and it's in the fold between the two and I'm just putting the left hand one and I'm going to tape that down the other end where, as I say, I'm going to punch some holes later on. So I like the way that's looking and there's a pocket so I'm just pushing something in it so I remember it's a pocket. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to work my way through just having a look at them all, just remembering what I've done and where, where I'm putting them. I'm just looking at the order as well. I didn't want two, like a flip up and a flip down next to each other or two big pockets next to each other. And I'm going to cut another map out. I really like these maps. I think they're really nice part of this range. And I'm thinking I might actually just have it in the book as it is. It's too big for a postcard, so it may stay as it is. So I'm actually making full use of this postcard set and I'm actually going to cover the the cover the covers of the postcard set to make the covers of my mini album. So I'm just looking at what papers I want to use. I really like the, this one with these labels on and that's definitely going to be on the back. And I definitely want to use a chipboard word on the cover, front cover. So I'm just going to work out, do the back one probably first and um, cover them in patterned paper. Honestly, there's lots of lovely prints to choose in this range, and particularly in the six by eight, because obviously they're a bit smaller. There's a nice like pink European cities building one that I really like. And as I say, some of them have got like a gold highlights to them as well. So you're going to see me add some um, holes to the book and then I'm going to actually make my own ring protectors just so that this book can stay in good shape. And at the end here, you'll find the flip through, which is also the separate video. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you for part two. Thank you so much for watching this and uh, I hope you make a mini book soon. Hi there and welcome to the flip through of my Maggie Holmes round trip mini book for Hey Little Magpie and I've used the postcard set from the range as the base. As you can see it's I've put two rings in this album. The idea is I want this album to be quite chunky, quite tactile and it's going to grow as I add in the photos and more of the chipboard and the ephemera. So I'm going to just give you a look through um, so that um, you can see how it came together and that way if you were planning some trips or some outings this summer you could actually have the book made in advance ready for when um, you got the photographs. So this is the cover of the book. It's actually the cover of the postcard book as well. This is from the chipboard sheet and it's a 12 by 12 paper that I've used. Um, so this is a 3 by 4 card that I've already cut down. You'll notice that I've uh, put some ring protectors that I've made myself from the range just to protect the holes because I really want this book to be handled and looked at a lot. So therefore, um, it's I just need to make sure that they don't rip. So I've left some gaps. Um, what I tend to do is cut some pieces of paper in advance with some sizes on of how I'd like my photos to look. So I'm thinking I could probably put a, a photo there, a photo here. And that's how my mind works when I'm actually starting to stick things down. Some paper pages have got nothing on because I'm actually going to put some bigger photos. So obviously it's aeroplanes. I've not stuck this down yet because I might actually took a photograph of something in between. And I've got a pocket and a tag. So I try and do as much as I can in advance. So obviously the postcards, there was two of each pattern in the pack. And they all, they all look like real postcards on the back. Some of them I've stuck together back to back, some face to face. So this is just a flip up that that's there. This is, I call this like a flip flap. These are bits of ephemera that I've used there. Now this is two cards that I've stuck together and I've made a, created a pocket and I've cut some tags from the six by eight pad and I've just embellished them so that I didn't want them to disappear up into the pocket and not be able to get them out again. 
so um, I wanted to make sure that you could see them and I've decorated one on the front and one on the back so that actually you can see them from both sides. This one I didn't want thinking of you there so I've already in my mind I'm going to make a photo collage to cover that maybe even bigger than that but that's the way my mind was thinking. I've made another pocket these are two postcards that I've put with the faces together and I've already got some tags ready and some uh, journaling that can go in there. I think a couple of the postcards in the pack had um, like American taxis on and I didn't want those in a book on Malta so it was easy just to stick them together. Here just a strip by the, from the 6x8 pad and more tags ready to um, add things to. There was a 12x12 12 12 piece of paper that I actually cut apart that was full of tags and tickets. Absolutely perfect for a book like this. This is just a piece that I've already stuck down. Um, I think it was um, from the die cut set but easily get a photograph, journaling, anything else there. This paper was from the 12x12 12 12, um, with maps on. Loved it so much. I wanted it to fit on the front cover, but it's just a tiny bit big, so I think it could go in as it is. I may not even decorate it, or I might just malt it here somewhere. So, I mean, if you were flying further, it would be perfect. You could even stitch it, and but I like that there. So this, I've put a, tag on, a tab on this corner. It's gonna lift this way. Little bit gutted that the um, 6x8 pad is white on the back, but I got over myself. I'm going to put a photograph over that completely, um, so it will be absolutely fine. If not, I could put some more pattern paper, but it would have been kind of nice if there was another pattern on the other side. Um, but the idea is, is to keep the book interactive. Another thing that I've already stuck down, definitely can fit another photograph on there, or you, I don't know what yet. We'll wait and see when I go through all the um, bits and pieces I have from this trip. Love this card. Wish you were here. Absolutely. Malta was a fabulous place. So that I'm thinking of doing another collage on that one too. So this is the sort of embellishment I've done on this postcard. Uh, this is a strip off the 6x8 book uh, paper pad. So the strips look like this. They're at the top of the papers. So I've laid it on there and I've actually covered the whole up with uh, a piece of uh, die cut. Um, and it looks perfect, doesn't it? I don't like to waste anything if I'm honest, so I keep everything when I'm making a book or a layout and at the very end, I um, that's when I go through and decide which bits need to be thrown away. So these are, die these are tags, some of them, as I say, I've cut from a pattern paper, some of them were die cut in another little pocket. Um, the good thing about using one whole range to make a mini book is you know that the papers go together. One of the things I've learned from doing Project Live is once it starts to evolve into uh, a book or or like pocket pages, is that the papers that uh, complement your photographs. So you, not to worry too much at this stage about the colours. I mean, for example, those flowers are sideways in that you won't notice that by the time that I've finished. So that's another flip flap, more of the map. Now the 12 by 12 page, as I say, with the map on, there was pieces of map, they weren't, they weren't all whole. So I've used these two to um, create this opening. This piece I've actually stuck between the two cards because I've actually got some tags here in the top as well. I tend to put the ribbons in or, or threads in quite early on because otherwise they disappear into the pockets and I forget that they're there. Really like this flowery one, really summery, um, nice. So another one, this is flipped down this side. I've just punched a tab um, to make that work. And the last postcard, and I love this pink paper. I know it's got pictures of uh, Europe, Paris, at Rome, I think it's just perfect. A nice sparkly one for the back of the book. Now, I think there's a couple of postcards I haven't used, so you could actually make the book bigger than this, but also you could actually make it smaller than this. You could even make it about um, a country that you visited. So, for example, you could make it on America, and each time you go, you could add more pages, more photographs, and it could run over a number of years. It doesn't need to be one complete trip. It could be your summer outings, and uh, every time you go out, you could put another postcard in. Um, in theory, you could actually stick stamps on the postcards and mail them to yourself. There's no reason why you couldn't do that. You could write them while you were away. So lots and lots of options. So I will be back um, very soon with this completely completed. And then we'll have to see how uh, fat and chunky it's got then. And I've got chipboard and ephemera and some puffy stickers and bits and pieces that I would like to use in it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.